morning and uh, welcome to the shed. So today I'm going to be restoring another plane. Um, I think in the last video I showed you this thing here. I've, I've actually already started oops, already started stripping it down. Um, this is a Bailey's number four, really good quality plane. I looked it up on a website yes, yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, I looked it up on a website last night uh, that sort of lists how, how you find out how old it is and it's actually 1900 seven to 1909 that's old that thing has seen two world wars and lived through the 60s so yeah i think it's definitely worth giving it a go it's pretty ropey it's quite rusty but i think the rust is quite new not not old i reckon it's probably sat in somebody's shed uh, and then i don't know gone rusty in the last 20 years or so so we're going to give that a go first stage and this video is to find out whether this stuff works. So this is Hammerite Rust Remover. This is a gel that you can just sort of paste on. Uh, I've not used it before. I struggled with the last plane uh, to get the rust out. Um, obviously, if there's some pitting, I'm going to have to leave that. I don't think I don't think I'll be able to get that flat. Um, so we're going to give that a go. I'm not sponsored by Hammerite, but I use their products all the time. So come on, guys, send me some stuff and I'll try it. Cheers. Okay. So first thing, strip the plane down, which is almost done. Uh, as I say, it's in a bit of a state, uh, you know, I've got a split in the handle, both handles. The one I just dropped is also split, this is why I dropped it. So that's going to be a bit of a tricky one, that. I've got to try and find a way of gluing that successfully. Um, yeah, so first stage and the first part of this video is to find out whether that rust remover actually works. So it's going to be a short video, put all the bits in the rust remover leave it for 24 hours or however long you're supposed to leave it uh, 20 minutes repeat the process oh there you go all right so quicker than i thought so we'll we'll do that that in this video and then if that works we'll go on to uh, restoring it properly um so as usual you've got to guess how much i paid for it hitching market um found it in a sort of box at the back how much did i pay guess below and if you get it right you've got to get it exactly right I'll give you a shout out. You're allowed two guesses. Okay, cool. Let's crack on. Okay, get the old rubber gloves on. So it does say remove excess rust with a wire brush, but you know, I'm not going to do that. This stuff's supposed to remove rust. Let's see if it works. I have brushed all the dirt off it though. So, the most important part is the foot plate or the foot plate. That's the first 20 minutes done. There's a bit of something moving. I'm not expecting it to happen instantly. So uh, I'm going to leave that like it is. I've got to pop out for an hour. So that'd be good. Give it a good old soaking. Something weird happening on this side as well. Oh yeah. Definitely something happening. So I sat a few hours. <coughs> Still looks like there's some stuff on there. Seems to be like something more than rust. But let's have a look, see what we've got. I'll have to wash these bits as well, obviously. So, where's my little brush? Oh, it is actually coming off. Even the stuff I didn't think would. Wow, okay, cool. So there was like a sort of a black deposit, which I thought was actually the foot plate being, a, oh, I keep calling it a foot plate. There was a black deposit, which I thought was um, the actual sole of the plane was damaged. I thought it had sort of lifted it up and got into it, but actually it is coming off. I think we'll probably have to give it another coat, but so far, Hammerite rust remover gel, so good. So I'm going to give this a good old scrub and I'm going to rinse it off, come back 
And then we'll put another coat on as well, just to make sure we've really got it going. I didn't use much of it either. So I think the fact that it's gel is quite good because it means it, you can lay a sort of surface of it on there. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Okay, so that's um, the second proper coat put on there. I did give it a little top up during the first one, but I think it's gonna take longer than 20 minutes. That first session was about two and a half, three hours. I'm gonna give it another three hours and see where, where we are. It is taking off the sort of uh, deposit, which doesn't look like rust, but is obviously the remains of rust. So hopefully with a bit of time and a bit of wire brushing, we can get most of that off, uh, and then that'll save us some uh, elbow grease. Okay, back to you in a few hours. So I let that soak overnight, um, and this is the next day. I've cleaned all the parts off. Uh, it did, did a pretty good job, uh, but we're just gonna give it one more coat, uh, leave it a few more hours, and then that'll be as far as we go. So my plain uh, sole and sides, they've been, uh, I've soaked them in the rust remover for 24 hours. It's good stuff, it does work, but it takes a bit of time. Uh, I don't know if you can see, there's still some pitting there, which I'm gonna to attempt to get out. But the bottom itself is actually not too bad. Uh, luckily it hasn't been ground or, or messed about with. Also noticed, I don't know if you can see that, that'll focus. It's got the man's name on it, or some man's name on it. E. Stevens, Ernie, or Edward. Ernie, I reckon, um, or Eric, possibly. Anyway, um, so I guess this was probably a gift. 1910, maybe he was an apprentice and that was his uh, passing out gift. Nice piece of kit. Okay, I'm gonna now stick this on some emery cloth. I've bought some 180. Which I've got to be careful with because that's probably a bit harsh. See if I can just take that pitting out or at least clean it up as best I can um, and then uh, we can start cleaning up, painting, putting it back together.
So I spent a lot of time on the wire wheel trying to get the pitting out. Um, but it's just too deep and I, in, in the end I had to give up. One side is particularly bad, uh, the other one is okay and the actual sole of the plane is also okay. So I spent a lot of time just using the wire wheel trying to get as much of the dirt and paint and everything I could off uh, and yeah it was pretty successful really but it does take a long time. So I've managed to get the uh, bottom nice and flat on the 180 grit. I'll do a bit more work on that on some 400 and 800. This side, not so pretty. It's actually got some damage to the metal. It's, it's not even rust anymore. It's just damaged the metal, eating it away. Uh, and this side, which is the side luckily with the uh, engraving. I really hope you can see that. I don't know how close I can get. So Eric will be proud that his thing is still going, even though Eric is probably long dead. Okay. Brilliant. Uh, so I'll finish cleaning it up off camera and then I will um, paint it. It's going to be green, of course. So I've spent some time uh, working on the plane body. I really have worked hard to get that as clean as possible. It's got its, it's got a few problems. I mean, the, the, the metal is pitted here, here. I noticed also it's got a little chunk missing there. Didn't spot that at first. Uh, and one of the sides is a bit dodgy. So we're going to reveal that in a moment. Um, obviously you probably realise by now that this is a long video, not a short video. I don't know why I keep saying that, I can never commit to it. Uh, so I decided to just carry on and just uh, do the whole process of uh, renovating this. So it's only just worth doing, but I think it is worth doing because of the, the history and, and the age of it. Um, so yeah, so I've done that. Started work on the handle, I've glued the handle. I've got a bit more sanding to do on that. Uh, and then get a finish on that. I might try an oil finish on this, just, I don't know, just think it might be nice. Uh, but there's a little bit of a line there that I've got to get rid of. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can. Uh, and the knob I haven't started on, although I have glued it. So then uh, we need to start cleaning up our pieces. I've started work on the chip breaker. See, I even know what, what they're called now. I've done some research. Uh, and using my wire brush, I've done a you know, a bit of work on that. It does take a while though, but it does actually do the job. Uh, my frog also needs spraying, but that's clean, just needs spraying. So the rust remover work well, just uh, obviously, you know, it's not magic. It just gets rid of the rust. Um, so you're left with whatever's left. Okay, let's uh, crack on with that. I'll show you this uh, reveal uh, and you can see what it looks like. Okay been curing overnight so it should be nicely uh, set, cured, whatever. Uh, this time I actually didn't mask the edges. Or did I? I can't remember. I thought I did. Yeah, I did mask the edges so that you get a bit of steel along along the, um, the shoulder of the plane. So it might be a bit harder to take that off. This is the side that isn't particularly good. So if you can see that edge there, that looks okay. I should probably just run the knife along there just to give it a good clean edge. Uh, oh, the other thing I forgot to say is that I realised that the, the guys, the guy who owned the plane's name was F. Stevens. Again, not sure it's hard there. You can see it there. I thought it was E, but as I cleaned it, I realised it was an F. 
So Frank or Fred, Fred I reckon is probably most likely. Wonder what happened to him. I think that's the main reason I think it's worth saving because, you know, it kind of makes it personal. Even though I obviously don't know him or know who he is. as usual that'll come off oh, <laughs> yeah pretty happy with that that's the rough side that side's a lot better and that's the bottom that's just a bit of paint there which I can soon remove So I've spent some time, a lot of time, getting these bits cleaned up. This is the handle. Reasonably happy with that. Still got a bit of a line where I joined it together, but it was quite. It had been been like that a long time, so there wasn't it wasn't easy to get it right. Also, my finishing is uh, leaves a little bit to de be desired, so I need to learn how to do that properly. But it looks okay. Um, that's the frog. The body of the plane, which actually has gone dull again. Um, so I'm going to just coat this with a bit of oil as I put it together. But yeah, it's come out okay. It's not it's not obviously as new, but uh, the brass comes up nice though. So let's put it together. I've sharpened the blade. Had an angle of about 30 degrees on it, so I've had to do like a, a bevel and then another bevel, but it's, it's pretty sharp. It's fairly short as well. It's running out of uh, running out of blade, so I don't want to do, take away too much. Okay, let's put it together.
Okay, so that's the finished article. Needs a lot of final polish on the sides there and oiling up. A little bit of paint on the bottom there, which I need to just remove. Not exactly uh, antique tool porn, is it? But it's not bad. I think it's probably the best I could do with the available equipment and the fact that it was in pretty much a right old state. So there is the blade, looks like that'll be okay. I shall back that out and we'll give it a little test in a moment. Wonder when the last time it was that it cut. I think my. Uh, Looks like there's not a lot of uh, gap there. Not sure if that just needs adjusting. Okay, let's set up a bit of wood and give it a go. So there she is. As usual, I've got a few things the wrong way around. I probably should write down the order. I keep waiting to put the handles on at the end and they should go on first, which feels wrong, but is right. Okay. There you go, not bad. I don't think the blade's sharp enough, so we'll sharpen that. But I think that is a usable tool. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. Thank you, Fred. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, that's the end of this video. That's the finished result. Not brilliant, but considering the state it was in, I've made it a usable tool again. It needs a bit of further sharpening, so I'll give it a bit more of a sharpen before I give it to my son uh, for Christmas. And uh, that's it, that's the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you like these tool videos or you want me to go fishing, which I will be doing probably later this week. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.